Hi guys, my name is Michelle and I create hair, makeup and lifestyle content here on YouTube. Today we're going to be demoing the products from Enliven. So it's like a full wash day with Enliven products. If that sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. Starting off with unwashed hair here, I'll hop into the shower and get my hair wet and then I'm going to go in with the Enliven shampoo. This shampoo contains sulfate, silicones and parabens. It is clear and has a runny consistency. So I'm going to emulsify the shampoo on the palm of my hands and then I'm going to apply it to only my scalp and then I'm going to start massaging. This shampoo lathers like crazy and so I'll recommend using a tiny bit so that you don't dry out your hair. Now I'm going to start massaging my scalp with my shampoo brush. Okay, so massaging your scalp while you shampoo your hair is going to increase the blood flow to your scalp and this is going to stimulate new hair growth. And so this is a very important step. Next, I'm going in with a generous amount of the conditioner and I'm applying it to the lengths of my hair. This conditioner does not have sulfate, silicones or surfactants. However, it does have parabens, which are basically preservatives. Applying the conditioner to the lengths of my hair. I'll start detangling with my EXO curl comb. I'm starting at the bottom and working my way to the top. And guys, let me tell you that this conditioner has surprisingly good slip. I have a detailed review on all of these products. I'll leave that video linked down below if you're interested. So anyway, I'm going to take my time detangling and I'm not going to rush things. After I'm done, I'm going to squish to condish. This is going to help form my curl clumps and also help me with curl training. And now I'm going to do a two strand twist. This is also going to help curl train my hair. Once I'm done with all of the twists, I'm going to wrap my hair up and clip it up in a bun. I'm going to let the conditioner sit in my hair as a deep conditioning treatment. I'll leave this on for 30 minutes and then I'll rinse off thoroughly. And now I'm going to start styling. So guys, I lost a lot of the footage in this session. However, you've seen my product application in previous videos. Basically, I'm using the same conditioner as leave-in. Then I'm using mousse and then I'm using gel. I'll take each product, emulsify and then apply using praying hands. And then I'll start creating my curl clumps using vertical sections and a white tooth comb. And then I'm going to start scrunching. If you're wondering if it's okay to use normal conditioner as a leave-in conditioner, I have a detailed video on this topic that you can check out. I'll leave it in the description. Okay, so for the top section, I'm going in with conditioner, applying with praying hands. Next, I'm going in with mousse. Again, I'm applying using praying hands. And my advice if you're using this mousse is to go in with slightly drier hair. I explain why in my review video. You'll see me applying gel. I'll take each product, emulsify and then apply using praying hands. And then I'm creating my curl clumps with a white tooth comb. And then I start scrunching. Now I'll bend from side to side and scrunch my hair. Then I'll go upside down and start scrunching my hair. So basically now I'm done styling, I'm going to plop for 30 minutes and I'll be back when my hair is dry. Okay, so my hair is completely dry now and I did diffuse a bit today because it's almost midnight and I need to wrap things up here. So let me scrunch out the crunch and then we'll talk.
all right so these are my results as you can see very big very fluffy hair which means to say that the conditioner was not heavy enough for my hair however my hair feels very light and very fluffy I don't feel like that CGME feeling at all. So it's safe to say that these products won't weigh your hair down at all. I do see a little extra frizz here, but that's fine because with frizz comes volume. All right, so in my opinion, these are the pros and these are the cons. So if you enjoyed this video then there's a very good chance that you might enjoy one of these and go through my channel. I have so much content that you can watch if you're interested in hair care.